everyone, and welcome to Lying Around Connecticut with Carol and Harry. I am Carol Kearns. My husband, Harry Shu, is our co-host. Our mission for the show is twofold. To provide information about Connecticut Lions events and to showcase the many different organizations and causes that Lions support locally, regionally, and internationally. Harry? Good evening and welcome. Please consult our website at www.lions23b.org or your district spirit for more information on coming events. Hello everyone and welcome to Lion Around Connecticut with Carol and Harry. We are back with the conclusion of the Melvin Jones Banquet held in Portland, Connecticut. First we will listen to International Director Mark Lyon tell us about the Progressive Melvin Jones Award. On with the show. On Emma. <laughs> Progressive Melvin Jones is another level of giving, and it represents the generosity of those lions that continue to support our foundation. So we're very pleased and proud to present a number of Progressive Melvin Jones here today. From the Bolton Regional Lions Club, Lion Donna Bradford. Barbara Gucho. Let me just say, as you're coming up, please don't stand directly in front of the podium. They're videotaping in the back. Thank you, everybody. From the Danbury Lions Club, Lisa Cervon Montalto. Essex Lions Club, Tom Langloy. Hey. I got the camera, Tom. <laughs> Apparently, there are some surprises with the presentations today. From the Haddon Lions Club, Ray Dennis. with the Progressive Melvin Jones, and he is unable to be here also. From the Mohegan Pequot Lions Club, Past Mr. Governor Lion Nancy Tucker.
from the New Canaan Lions Club, Lion Helen Riscon Belushi. From the New Haven Lions Club, Past Mr. Governor Jim Bennett. Mr. Governor, Dr. Keith Lemieux. From the Harlington Lions Club, Lion Carol Kern.
from the Middletown Lions Club, the one and only Lion, Marty Knight. From the Puck and Lions Club, Zone Chair Greg King. Receiving his third progressive Melvin Jones from the Bolton Lions Club, Lion Rudy Corrali. From the Essex Lions Club, past district governor Denise Dudet. From the Hebrew Lions Club, Lion Lee Anderson. Receiving her fourth level progressive Melvin Jones from the Colchester Lions Club, Lion Julie Chalowski. Also receiving a fourth progressive Melvin Jones from the Danbury Lions Club, Lion Frank Chumley Molinaro. Yeah. All right. Got the back. 
Receiving their fifth Progressive Belvin Jones from the Killingworth Lions Club, Council Chair Hillary Cummings. Way to go, Hillary. Receiving her sixth Progressive Jones from the Hartford Evening Lions Club, Lion Nora Clark. Receiving their seventh Progressive Melvin Jones Fellow from the Hebrew Lions Club, Lion John Soderberg. There are many levels of giving beyond what we have already awarded today, and those represent significant donations to our Lions Clubs International Foundation. Receiving their second Blue Sapphire, Progressive Melvin Jones, from the South Windsor Lions Club Past Council Chair, C.F. Dolashani. We have one more Progressive Melvin Jones to give today. This is a second Yellow Sapphire Award. Going to past district governor from the Hartford Evening Lions Club, Lion Bobby Clark. Here you go, Bobby. Thank you to all the Progressive Melvin Jones today that were awarded new medals, new uh, recognitions. We look forward to continued support for Lions Club International Foundation. And please give everyone a round of applause once again. I want to thank you all for making this such a successful celebration, recognizing our deserving Melvin Jones Fellows. My thanks go to PDG Mary Crow, the organizing committee. Father Doherty, especially. All the clubs that have supported LCIF, and especially our guest, past international president Jimmy Ross and international director Mark, for making me such a special afternoon. Now I'm going to turn it over to 
Next is the Governor Denise Dudek and Lion Tom Langley for announcements of the raffle winners. We'll now continue with a parade of checks. These are the Lions Clubs who are donating to Lions Clubs International Foundation. Thousand dollars from Terry the Lions. We have a one thousand dollar donation from the East Hampton Lions charity. We have a five hundred dollar donation from the Salem Lions Club. We have a two thousand dollar donation from the New Haven Lions Club. A one thousand dollar donation from the Danbury Lions Club. And we have a thousand dollar donation from the New Canaan Lions Club. Thank you again for everyone for your support of our foundation. And I was just, today's a day of surprises. Father Ed just gave me another surprise. He would like to buy everyone that has bought a raffle ticket, please say one ticket, and he wants to buy you a drink. <laughs> So I went to the bartender and said, there's 200 people here. I said, you're supposed to leave shortly. He says, we are staying on and we have orders that you want to buy everybody your drinks. But not until after the benediction. Again, everyone, wasn't this an exciting show? How about it, Harry? <laughs> it was. <laughs> and congratulations to us. Us! <laughs> and all the other Melvin Jones and Progressive Melvin Jones We were Progressive awards. Jones Awards. And, and I really like Pastor International President Jimmy Ross. He's, He's, he is a great guy. He is. We had a great time with him yesterday at lunch and again tonight. Yesterday we were at the New England Carousel Museum in Bristol, Connecticut. If you haven't been there, it's a real gem. So it's a wonderful place. I encourage you to go there. But that's going to do it for this episode of Lying Around Connecticut with Carol and Harry. Bye now. Bye-bye. And here are some highlights from the 2018 International Convention in Las Vegas, where I was installed as District Governor. How are you enjoying the convention so far? I'm loving it. I'm having so much fun. I'm so excited to be in Las Vegas. The convention is so active and busy. This is an excellent convention. We are very, very proud to be Lions. It's more than 200 countries that is part of this international convention, and I'm so happy to be part of this. I love the Lions! And I love convention! Please welcome International President Dr. Naresh Agarwal and his wife, Navita. We are now officially the largest in the history of our organization. Nothing is impossible through the power of we. Together we rock! Dr. Sanjay Gupta, he was really good. Simply raising awareness can go such a long way in terms of improving and even saving lives. We could not move from our seats. Everything was so interesting. And the fight about diabetes, that's in our hearts. I'm thankful that Lions Club is helping me to find a cure. When our plaque came up, we were screaming. The singing and dancing were spectacular. It was so great.
You meet a lot of friends and you create a network of lions. So maybe we can connect and talk later. Yes, of course. I want to get you guys moving and singing a little bit. One more day. We've now raised $50 million $727,000. The Global Action Team brings the entire Lions Network together to support of your clubs. Thank you for making our centennial celebration an event to always remember. This is our LCIF 50th anniversary commemoration plaque. We want to make seminars more fun. The more fun things we have, the more youngsters we will attract. We will make a difference. We will be the new voices. It's our great pleasure to present the humanitarian award to Dr. Pratap C. Reddy of Apollo Hospitals. Our goal for Campaign 100 Thank is you, to David. raise 300 million U.S. dollars over the next three years. Will you help me write this new chapter? This is a big change. It's a historic moment. I invite you to join me on this journey. Help me to chart our course into the future. This was my first international convention. And from now onwards, I won't miss any convention. We hope you enjoyed our show this evening. Tune in next week for another Lion Around Connecticut with Carol and Harry. Good night. Bye-bye.